There's nothing that says Sith more than a shimmering crimson blade. After decades of mystery, Marvel Comics is exploring how Sith get their lightsabers in the new comic based on Darth Vader, and now they've revealed one of the most sinister secrets of the Sith. Jumping right back into the story where Revenge of the Sith left off, this new comic follows Darth Vader as he goes on a quest to construct his new lightsaber. Torturing and taunting him, Emperor Palpatine instructs him to forge a new lightsaber after Anakin's was lost in the battle with Obi-Wan Kenobi. But making this lightsaber is a lot more difficult and monstrous than it sounds. At the heart of every lightsaber is a kyber crystal. These are living crystals that are attuned to the Force and contain great energy. As we discovered in Rogue One, the Death Star's planet-destroying beam is powered by kyber crystals. To construct their sabers, Jedi seek out a kyber crystal and place it inside the handle. They bond with their crystal, using it as a lens to focus their own force powers. But the Sith do something very, very different. In the Darth Vader comic, the Emperor explains that a Sith's crystal isn't found or given, but taken. Apprentice Sith Lords hunt down and kill a Jedi in order to steal their lightsaber. The Apprentice will then rip the lightsaber open, remove the crystal and corrupt it before placing it in a new Sith lightsaber. This adds some depth to Darth Maul's character. His double-bladed lightsaber means he killed two Jedi just when he was starting out, which explains why, in his own comic series, young Maul is frustrated by his master's orders that he be cautious and stay in hiding. Having killed two Jedi already, Maul was eager to slaughter more. Kyber crystals are almost sentient, choosing the Jedi who will wield them. Unlike the Jedi, who bond with their crystal, a Sith must corrupt theirs. They use kyber crystals to focus their anger, hatred and pain, basically every negative emotion that leads to the dark side. This process is called bleeding, as the Sith bends their crystal to their will. Interestingly, this is something of a two-way street. The bleeding amplifies the Sith's negative emotions, corrupting them even further. No. We discovered this in the Rogue One prelude novel Catalyst, in which Galen Erso used science to bleed the Death Stars to kyber crystals. As he did so, Galen himself grew more introverted, angry and obsessive, feeling his mind cloud over with suspicion and bitterness. This is just another way that the Sith path is ultimately a vicious cycle. If an apprentice is strong enough to bleed a crystal, they are further exposed to the dark side. 